Hello everyone, I am Nutritionist Vidisha and welcome to my channel NutriFond. Today I will talk about PCOT or Polycystic Ovarian Disease. The reason behind this disease is still unknown but it is said that it is a lifestyle disorder. Excessive stress, genes, unhealthy lifestyle could be a reason behind this disease. The alarming part is 5 to 10 percent of young adult women are suffering from PCOD. Maybe our unhealthy lifestyle, our excessive stress in so to get rid of this disease we need to improve our lifestyle. I am not talking about the symptoms of PCOD and I am not going into detail of PCOD as most of us already knows about this. Irregular periods, uh, uncontrolled weight gain, excessive growth of hair in body parts, excessive acne, these are the symptoms of PCOD. And mood swings also have seen in the people who are suffering from PCOD. And it's a very common symptom. We also have to keep in mind that every people suffering from PCOD are not obese or overweight. Maybe their BMI is just normal. Maybe they have, maybe their BMI is between uh, 19 to 24 also. But still they are obese. They are suffering from PCOD. There are medications also for PCOD. But what you have to do, you have to change your lifestyle. You have to change your eating habits. You have to change your way of living. Only that may cure PCOD. You definitely need to lose weight for PCOD. But it is not like you have to lose weight in a very small, short span of time. And for that you will go into any kind of crash diet. That may affect your body. But if you, for weight loss purpose here, you have to go through a balanced diet. A balanced diet only provides each and every nutrients like carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamins, minerals, fibers, everything what your body needs in right proportion. And for getting those nutrients, you have to include each and every food group to your diet on a daily basis. Like people think that for losing weight they don't need carbohydrate, they have to go through a no carb diet. But no, you need carbohydrate. But you have to think what kind of carbohydrate will you take. You have to intake complex carbohydrate. And where will you get complex carbohydrate? You will get complex carbohydrate in cereals like rice, wheat, oats, dahlia. These will provide you complex carbohydrate and these foods also provide fibers your body need you need to avoid simple carbohydrate that is sugar yes you have to uh, remove sugar from your diet completely along with cereals you have to include pulses also to your daily diet it will be better if you consume whole pulses that will provide you fiber also. If I talk about fruits, then you need to consume fruits having low glycemic index. Plums, guava, pears, uh, peaches, strawberry, amla, oranges, musambis. These are some fruits having low glycemic index. Fruits having low glycemic index will rise your blood glucose level more slowly. And people who are having PCOD have a tendency of elevated having mm. elevated blood glucose level. That's why you need to intake the foods which are having low glycemic index. You need to include vegetables to your diet, especially the green leafy vegetables. As the vegetables will provide you the minerals and the vitamins your body need. And the fiber also will be provided by vegetables. But fiber will your uh, whole grain cereals and pulses will also provide you fiber. You need to consume on an average 200 to 400 grams of vegetables to your diet depending on the total calorie of your diet. 
but try to consume vegetable as much as possible make sure your diet is containing good quality of fat if you are having fish then it is a very good source of fats uh, other than that you can have almond walnut chia seed flax seed these are also very good source of fat there is no need at all to remove dairy products if you are having pcod you can avoid the full fat milk instead of that you can drink the skimmed milk or double toned milk and you can have a better choice of dairy products like you can have curd or yogurt instead of having raw milk but definitely do not consume those flavored yogurt try to have homemade yogurt or curd now the very important part is what type of oil you will use try to stick on the traditional method of cooking what uh, cooking oil you are using till your childhood what your family is consuming do not get into a whole new cooking oil to get rid of pcod it is not going to help you the quantity of oil will matter that will depend on the calorie total calorie of your diet and most importantly have homemade food say no to processed and packaged foods even if it claims that it is very much healthy and it will cure pcod still you need to avoid this along with those processed and packaged food you have to avoid any kind of fried foods and junk foods also the only thing that you can help you to get rid of pcod is diet therapy and your exercise and for diet therapy you need to have homemade food only you need to engage yourself into 30 minutes to 1 hour physical activity it could be anything of your choice like walking running jogging uh, uh, cycling dancing zumba dancing or anything you like even if you want to engage yourself in any kind of household activity which needs some physical effort you can do that also this is a general dietary guidelines this you have to incorporate into your daily diet i will make a separate video on how will you incorporate this uh, guidelines into your diet uh, daily diet and we will plan a menu for a day but if i do that in this video it will be a lengthy video so till then you incorporate this dietary guidelines into your daily diet and you will definitely get result so till then subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon right next to it it's smart go fit thank you